Hey guys, I've got a 2005 Ford F-350 with a 6 liter diesel. When I received this, it had been sitting in a lot for about 6 months. I was told it had a leaking EGR cooler. Well, the mechanic that had played with it, he pulled out the glow plugs and he you know, turned the engine over and pumped out all the water. Well, I uh, filled up the the reservoir cranked it sure enough it filled up the number seven cylinder full of water so I pulled the glow plugs pulled it out got a scan gauge too started checking for things um, had no ICP had no base oil pressure so I ordered the STC fitting the stand pipes the dummy plugs uh, low pressure oil pump gears and front cover oil cooler welded up the EGR cooler uh, added a few other things on it all new filters new oil um, and here's where I stand you know I put all that stuff on it and now I get about 50% uh, IPR and I get about 1600 ICP but still no start last night I tried to crank it it cranked until the batteries went low so I put on the block heater and I've had it sitting here with the glow plugs warming up for about uh, two or three minutes now. And let's see what happens when I try to start it. It's still at 85%. No ICP. But then I start to build ICP. Oh, eventually, there it goes. I'm at 230. Now I'm at 1400. All right, guys, what do y'all think about this? Again, you didn't hear the injector clatter because I'd already had the key on. Uh, but my injectors do clatter. Not really sure what the the problem here could be, and I know it's something simple. Um. Then again, maybe the lifter bearings, you know, caused all this problem. That and a leaking EGR cooler. And it's going to be a big problem. Anyhow, you guys tell me what you think. I appreciate it very much.